Good morning. Here we are. Zero day is over. Roadrunner and I are packing up all of our stuff. The shuttle will be here in about 45 minutes. It's not actually a shuttle. It's a trail angel. Um, they were very, very nice on the communication last night. So big shout out to the Idlewild Trail Angels. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting back on trail this morning. We have probably about 15 miles to do. And that'll set it up, set us up nicely for the next day. Feeling good about getting back on trail. I'd be lying if I didn't say there was a little part of me that was a little bit excited and nervous at the same time about getting to some of the more sketchy stuff uh, tomorrow. This will be the first time we're carrying ice axes, so that's going to be a little bit different. Um, hopefully, we, I don't think we'll have to use them at all today, but anyway, I'm going to finish getting packed up, and we'll see as we head back to the trail. I got four liters of water there, all filled up. I love carrying all that water. All right, we are in the, the shuttle going back to trail. Whitney uh, Fireball loves the curvy road. How are you feeling this morning? I have a weak uh, stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know why we put her in the middle. Yeah, why am I in the back? Put me in the front. All right, we are back at trail. The trail angel dropped us off across the road at the trailhead on the other side. But then we are. Roger and I had to walk back across the road to the last place we were on the PCT to connect our footsteps and I better get off this road. Okay, now we are walking back through the parking lot to the trailhead we were dropped off at so we can have these connected footsteps going to Canada. Okay, so all this back and forth, we retraced our steps south on a trail that wasn't even the PCT. So now we're back on the PCT, going back south to the road again. Okay, now we're back to the road. We crossed the road already, so we're just going to go to the road, then turn around. Boom! I think so. Who knows? <laughs> All right, somebody left some trash and some oranges. Okay, right, so we are going to Forbes Trail today. When snow is present. Okay. Look who is flirting with us over here. San Jacinto up there. We'll be there tomorrow. All right, so I stopped to take a camera out. Roadrunner and I have been hiking together. And we've been talking about part of this is kind of like AT-esque. And we've kind of hit a proper climb. All right, we started walking about exactly three hours ago, almost to the minute when I looked at my, my clock. Um, it is lunchtime. <laughs> Roger and I were both pretty hungry. We found a spot and we are a little over halfway done for the day already with our miles. Um, I'm really glad we did the Nero and the Zero. And I think I was way more responsible with this one than I had been it with some in the past on the AT. Only had one beer at the brewery with dinner. And then the two beers we bought for the hotel, I think I dumped out more of both of them than I actually drink. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, you know, we had some healthy food yesterday, a couple, twice actually, the kale salad, and uh, I think we had a couple avocados. <laughs> so I'm feeling really good this morning. I'm feeling rested. The sinuses seems to be pretty much done. Some of these uphills, especially as we got a little bit higher in elevation, I could definitely feel my breathing, but I mean, nothing bad. Only thing I got going on right now is my right forefoot has a little bit of pain but i mean nothing more than what's typical of through hiking um so yeah it's lunch time i'm gonna have some uncrustables i an uncrustable and i have some crushed um sea salt and vinegar chips and the roadrunner is going to have spam and cheese yeah and tortillas yeah oh and she's got um Frito Flavor Twist Barbecue. Yeah. I had bought a bag of those too, but I ate them in the hotel. So 
lunch is over. Roadrunner just said we had a quick lunch, and I think, actually, I didn't think about that then, but we probably should have sat there a little longer. Yeah. Maybe we'll take another break. We only have 6.9 to the junction where we're going to go a mile off the PCT to, to probably camp and get water. So we have less than eight total for the day. It's only 12.45. Um, we made really good time this morning, even with the climbing, so... Um, been a good day maybe we'll just mosey along and talk about and discover the meaning of life for this afternoon who knows we'll let you know what we find out. <laughs> she said we'll let you know what we find out it's probably not going to be much all right that's the trail we came back in on you can see the trail down here and then over there, right there. We've been climbing all morning. We're almost 7,000 feet right now. Man, it's beautiful. The last clip you saw of the snow-covered San Jacinto is on the other side of the mountain we're climbing now. And you can see Roadrunner up there ahead. Man, it's a beautiful day. Starting to see a lot of this on the edge of the trail, but for the most part, the trail is still good. Uh oh, it's making its way onto the trail. So far, it's just a little bit of slush, though. No, no big deal. A couple inches of. Oh, that's no good. She said an ice cube fell from the tree up there and almost hit her. So we're not continually climbing all the way to San Jacinto. So we had a big climb today and here probably now, we will descend the rest of the day to the base. And then tomorrow we're gonna try to go up to Apache, which is the first, uh, first thing that scares me a little bit, but For reference, we are at around Cobalt. These views out here are crazy and it's hard to just like not take them for granted. Because you're looking at different variations of the same views all day long. It's not like on the AT or a lot of the trails where you do some climbing, you get to a viewpoint and you can see, like this trail is completely open and exposed and you are looking at the views all day long. It's pretty incredible. Carrying a bunch of water is not so incredible, but man, the views are worth it. Uh, okay, we're starting to get some proper climbs here today. up here. The trail continues on that way. We'll be continuing to Jacinto. Let me show you this view. Wowza, wowza, wowza. This is exciting today. Oh. Loving, loving, loving it. All right, what's your name? Stray. And that's a new trail name? That's a new as of uh, two days ago, yeah. All right, and have you hiked any other trails? Appalachian Trail, yeah. All right, what year was that? 2020. That was a tough year. Yeah, it was COVID. Yeah, that was, that was tough. So what made you want to do the PCT? Uh, I went back home and uh, picked up some, you know, jobs that were just not challenging. And uh, I just said it's time to get out and do it again. You know? I can so, feel that for sure. Yeah, so. Uh, Are there... Uh, <laughs> 
So uh, yeah, I just had to get out. I had to I had to move. I had to be challenged. So okay. This is my way. Did you make any huge gear changes between the AT and the PCT? Uh, or? Really, not a bit. It's got the same sleeping bag, same tent, same cookware, same uh, uh, backpack. Yeah, I, I went with all. And it's, I yeah. mean, it's the same, literally the same. Not the same kind, but the same ones I used. That's in, lucky. So. I've got my same tent. Yeah. But I had to get a new pack. My the pack I had was pretty much done. Right. Um, what's the favorite gear item you're carrying? Ooh, uh, goodness gracious. Um, you know, it's probably uh, it's probably the tent. It's been loyal <laughs> yeah. to me, you know. Uh, it keeps the wind out at night, and uh, it, it doesn't make a lot of... It's an REI quarter dome, too, so okay. I'm real happy with that. And uh, so I recommend it. Good. Um, so do you have anybody at home you want to say hi to? Yeah, uh, some of my buddies, John, Paul... Uh, another John, um, Greg, JJ, my wife Kim. So you should have I, started with her. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, I was. I was <laughs> you caught me off guard with a question. So I'm, uh, I I'm did. Thinking, that wasn't fair. Yeah. But uh, but anyway, hi to all of them. That's my daughter Kirsten and my son Tanner. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you. Let's get to walking, and we can go it. figure out how to get up to San Jacinto. Let's figure it out. Yeah. All right. So this. This is the trail. Punch my uh, hit you there. Alright, I am filthy. Had to climb over blow downs. Had to get on the ground and crawl under, scooting on my butt. My ice axe is dragging on rocks. Um, there has been nearly no trail maintenance on this section. Uh, but hey, it's all part of the fun, right? Ugh. It's like walking through a really snug car wash ow the trails open back up we only got 0.5 to the junction where we're either going to camp there or we're going to camp at the water but that we have to go to anyway another mile from off trail from that junction all right we're set up here there's a little wind blowing through there but now we have either like a half mile or a mile, depending on the water sources, to go to find some water. That's where I had to get water. All right, I just got all my water for the night and tomorrow. We don't have water for probably about 11 miles tomorrow. It was 1.1 miles down this hill from the trail where we're camped. So 2.2 miles just for water. And as you saw on the preceding video, it wasn't a great flow, but it was clear, it was cold, and I was able to get enough. Now I gotta walk uphill for a mile carrying about four and a half liters of water. All right, I'm back from getting water. Got dinner cooking here. Roadrunner's already got her dinner there. That was the longest I think I've ever walked for water. At least it felt like it. Um, it was probably a 45 minute or an hour ordeal by the time we walked down there, collected the water and filtered and got back up here. Um, I was not in a great mood <laughs> the second half of that walk. So um, yeah. I'm ready to uh, get get some food and and uh, yeah, I'm just hungry. All right, this is right here from our campsite. Thanks again for watching. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.